I want to tell you something that is really, really going to help you. Sometimes people that you have issues with or a problem with, your enemy may be stressed out. They may be having problems right now. They may be in pain. They may be going through something. So in saying that, we have to have more patience for them. For instance, and I don't believe this person minds me telling this story, but earlier, someone contacted me and this person, we were just texting and somehow this misunderstanding happened and I am looking and trying to find out how did this misunderstanding happen? I am checking to see if I said anything mean or out of place. And I really could not find anything. So I was thinking, what is going on? And I believe usually what I do, I usually pray while I am eating or doing other things. And what came to me, hey, that person is in pain. That person is stressed out. So I gave this person a text and I was asking, hey, is something going on? Are you in pain? Like what personal problem are you having? Then minutes later, this person texted me back and told me what was going on. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Chances are your enemy is going through something. Let me say this too. Back when I was in high school, there was this guy that would go out his way to pick on me. <laughs> and back around that time period, it never really came to my mind why this person would go out his way to pick on me. And I was thinking about that person every so often that person comes to my mind and I pray for that person. And what came to me about that person, I believe that that person was having issues at home, family issues. The thing that we don't understand or not see when there are people that act really rude for absolutely no reason or they seem unhappy all the time it is not you per se they have a problem with it is their personal issues so what they are doing they are bringing forth their personal issues upon you so this guy, back when I was in high school, just would come to me and just 
tease me and all this other stuff. And I am thinking, why? This guy will search me out. <laughs> Like he was the main person out of everyone. The main person. Of course, there were some others, but this guy here would go far out his way. And when you see something like that, there is no point in getting angry at that person. Let's say a person's arms are broke, their legs are broke, their back is broke. Let's say that they have pain everywhere on their body. In many cases, when people are in so much pain, it irritates them. So when they contact others or speak to others they are going to speak out of irritation they are going to be sensitive toward the tiniest things that you may say to them why it is not your words it is not your actions toward them it is the pain that they are receiving or going through. For instance, I went on this trip and I had this headache. It was so bad. And my pain, the pain on my head, it was terrible. Even to hear someone talk to me would irritate me so much. <laughs> Stop talking to me, my head hurts. Even if a person was not even trying to be rude or loud or anything like that, it would irritate me so much. Why? Because my head was hurting. I was having a headache, a really bad one. I was in pain. So since I was in pain, when someone would try to speak to me, I would speak to that person in a frustrated or irritated way, not because of what they were saying, because I was in pain. For instance, sometimes some people call me and let me say this. There was this one time when I was really, really, really tired. And someone was asking me so many questions. And <laughs> you know, when you are tired, your brain is not really working that well. And it is irritating to try to answer complex questions when you are exhausted. And this person was asking me this, asking me that, and I'm thinking, be quiet. <laughs> not that I did not want to answer that person's questions. It wasn't because of that. It wasn't because that person was trying to offend me or anything like that. I was exhausted. So I pray that this makes sense. Chances are your enemy or your seemingly enemy is going through something. So the best thing to do if you can, or if you want to, is to be patient with that person and don't be so quick or quick to cut that person off. I know that it is really easy to cut people off. I usually, that is the first thing I usually do is cut people off. But 
when you are trying to bring people to God, that is not always the best issue. Now, there are going to be some people where you won't have any other choice because they choose to not serve God. Like, hey, I am serving Satan and I am not trying to hear you with that God stuff, whatever. In cases like those, you really have no other choice. But if a person is showing interest toward God and wanting to change, hey, you may have to roll out the carpet a bit more, if that makes any sense to you. So I pray that all of this makes sense. We need more patience, even when it hurts. And I am getting to the point where I am learning, <laughs> if this makes any sense, I am learning to turn off my brain when I deal with hurt people. Because sometimes it is not good to think or to act when you deal with people that are hurt. Sometimes it is best to not think and just move on. And if they come back, oh, Kevin, I'm sorry. Do whatever you have to do. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.